Welcome home. We are WNST. Baltimore positive AM 1570. We're, we're just getting through the holidays. I am just eating leftover cookies and we're getting ready for some crab cakes uh, into 2024. The Maryland crab cake tour is on the road. I still have some leftovers. The, the, the purple ones are very popular right now. I can't imagine why the O snaps are out there. I found out that we had a big winner in peppermint payout multiplier. So I'm going to talk to John Martin about that. Our friends at window nation, putting us back out on the road again, our whole schedule will be up at Baltimore positive. We're taking a little holiday rest, but you're going to hear some, of our um, our finest work of the last year on the Maryland Crab Cake Tour presented by the Maryland Lottery Window Nation. And I need to say Jiffy Lube because my little orange light is on. It is the holidays. The weather's kind of icky and all that. But I got to get my oil changed before I go out this weekend for my New Year's Eve activities. This guy, um, I sent him home last week with a beautiful wise tray of kielbasa and sauerkraut. And I hope it went well uh, for John Martin, who joined us last week at Wise Markets. And honey, go, uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, New Year's, Festivus. Even the Browns are going to make the playoffs, John Martin. Like, everybody's happy. It's an, it's an incredible start to 2024, right? Well, well, the same all over you, too. But you know what? Don't, don't be tempting fate with with my browns they are only a 99 percent chance of making the playoffs <laughs> as we record this and and you you laugh but believe me as a clevelander 99 ain't 100 so uh, we'll, you ain't never had joe flacco either you know no how about that huh this kid's got a future in this league you know, for me, he's my all-time favorite athlete. I'm unabashed about that. I've covered them all. Like I said, I've seen them all, kid. You know, I've been doing this for 39 years. It's been my 40th anniversary of having locker room access back when I used to be a media member. But I've been doing this since – and I wish Gene Ubriaco, my dear friend, he had his birthday was the other day. He was the first coach I ever covered, 1984. I walked in with my little notebook. I was 16 years old. And, you know, all these years later, Joe Flacco is my favorite guy. And here he is rising from the ashes like uh, the, the, the ghost of Jim Brown and Art Modell and the Phoenix. But more than that, I have all of these Cleveland buddies that are media members, John, and like friends of mine on Facebook and whatnot or Instagram or wherever, like Daryl Ryder, who's a, you know, a, a frequent guest here. He sh puts videos up. So I see everything Joe's doing because the algorithms of social media. It's astonishing to see him in front of a locker, in front of all this Brown stuff in this sort of fresh way. I mean, are you following this as a Browns fan and like you more engaged with it or, or, or just normally engaged? Because I would think every Browns fan, this has got to be the most amazing thing you've ever witnessed. Not just because he was a Raven and I'm a Flacco guy, but just from a Browns fan perspective, this is going pretty well. I am old enough to remember 1988 and Don Strock, and you can look Strock it up. Strock around the clock. I was at those games, yes. They made Strock it used to, Strock's claim to fame was holding the clipboard for for the Miami Dolphins the on the sideline. Right, yeah. That, 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 that was his career. And and getting a good tan and looking like a matinee idol while doing that. By the and way, then he was the first offensive coordinator of the Baltimore Ravens in 1996, so I know Don Strock. He's a good man. Look at that. And in 1988, you could look it up because I know you do. He was, in fact, the fourth quarterback who came in that year after guys went down. Kozar went down. Gary Danielson went down. Mike Pagel went down. Don Strock was left standing and in the cold, which he wasn't used to, in Cleveland, willed that team to the playoffs in 1988. So history has a weird way of repeating itself, does it not? I was a Houston Oilers fan, and I, I'm pretty sure I spent Christmas Eve of 1988 at Cleveland Stadium having dog biscuits thrown. I was wearing this color, by the way. It was Houston Oilers. Um, well, that'll do so, it. So, yeah, I remember those battles well, and I remember they wrote a song called Strock Around the Clock, and this week the ESPN people in Cleveland wrote a song for Flacco, and, like, it's fun. I hope they don't lose to the Jets. I'm just saying by the time people hear this, John Martin is here. He's the executive director of all things. Uh, Maryland yeah. Lottery. Yeah, let's and get game. back on track. Let's look at back on track here. Let's right. Let's talk about the Ravens. <laughs> is that on we track? Can. You, know, you know what we can talk about? Because yeah. it is fun. Um, Jacksonville people winding, must have a good time, right? We are winding down on our 2023 um, uh prize fest here if you will you know our 50th anniversary year and of course all year long we've had wonderful opportunities for players to get engaged with a variety of products but nothing is more popular than our ravens second chance contest and we are down to the final drawing for the final two um 
applicants, if you will, or finalists. I used to final enough times there, didn't I? Um, we have two more, two more people to round out. Uh, six people. We have, uh, let's see, January 2nd will be the drawing. So you still have plenty of days left to get your non-winning entries into um, the Ravens contest at mdlottery.com. We will pick the fifth and sixth uh, person, and those six people will be at a date to be determined. Will join us at MT Bank Stadium, and one of those lucky six will win Ravens season tickets for 20 years. And they can be talking about uh, things that happen over the next 20 years while you and I are resting comfortably somewhere, uh, watching it from afar. You know, you and I are only in the room together once or twice a year, but we were last week. And I have this funny screenshot of you, like, faking like you were taking notes of all the Santa Claus things that I was uh, throwing out at you. Last week. So I've been taking notes here, and you said most popular. So I'm going to put the journalism hat here. Is it really the most popular second chance? Like it, I mean, I, I would think for any of these tickets, and I tell people when we, when I give them out, we have chances to get $30,000 peppermint payout winner right here in the Parkville area this week, by the way. But I give these out and I say to people, play second chance play. And I'm not sure who does or doesn't. I know you sort of encourage and want everybody to play because that's sort of the, the fun of this is that Doug calls him and says, you want something that you, hey, you entered, did you really? And but the Ravens thing, you guys really beat that up pretty good because all of the, um, I would say the, um, well, you remember the old Monty Hall, door number one, door number two, door number three, all of those kinds of fun things are all tied to second chance, right? Like you, you have to play second chance if you want the tickets for life. And that's sort of the whole game to get in if you're a Ravens fan that you want to have all these really cool experiential things. So I could see that it would be it the most popular second chance, right? We have uh, we're very proud of the of the of the depth and breadth of things we offer our players throughout the year. Promotion, second chance contests. Today, as we're winding up the calendar year, we have no less than four um, second chance promotions. We have our holiday second chance drawing, so those non-winning, scratched, scented tickets, uh, among others, can be entered in for drawings for cash prizes. We have a couple more weeks left for cash prizes on that. So when we I give these out or, or these out, the scented ones, this is what you're you're speaking of. There is a second chance. Doug's going to call somebody and say you want a bunch of money or correct? Exactly. And it's, it's all the holiday tickets. So it's even the unscented ones. But enter your non-winning tickets into <clears throat> our drawing. And we have weekly drawings. We have three more drawings to go. And the last drawing, in addition, every week we had 11 weeks. We will have 11 weeks of drawing where five five thousand dollar winners on the 12th and final week we will have not only the five five thousand dollar winners but two lucky one hundred thousand dollar winners how's that to cap off a lot of money season? man and i, I that would be a lot like and they don't know it it's not like scratching off you go into second chance you play with your app and then doug calls and you're like nah not me yep. you can't be yep I, this is fun. John Martin is here. He's the executive director of all things Maryland Lottery Gaming, talking about these and second chances and Ravens and all that other good stuff. I needed to ask you this because um, we've done 25th anniversary for my end. We're in the middle of that. We're we're about to make it a huge announcement. That's my little plug for uh, for Radio Row Week and what we're planning on doing in February. But planning on the Ravens being the Super Bowl, even though Joe Flacco has other plans, and I'm sure Patrick Mahomes does as well. Your 50th anniversary as we go into guy lombardo and new year's night and dick clark and all that it's over the 50th is over <laughs> we're, we're done with that right yeah the, the party is over they're sweeping up the confetti has already uh fallen but uh uh yeah a great year we had a, we had a lot of engaged fans um people who have been with us for many of those 50 years and also people who were new and and found the lottery for the first time for whatever reason so uh it was a great year and we will be uh, very quickly getting into 2024. Lots of things on the horizon. Uh, I'll tease as well. We'll have new games, new products, new promotions, uh, as well as an interesting, I don't want to get too political here because we'll have plenty of time to do this, very interesting legislative session in Annapolis starts the second week of January. And as you may know, and your listeners and viewers know, that's a 90-day session in Annapolis to set up the laws and the rules and regulations for upcoming things across the spectrum. And the lottery is going to be a big part of that this uh, this year. And, uh, and as we get into it and we have and are able to tell you more, we'll talk about some interesting potentials in the lottery and gaming space in the uh, months and years ahead.
I think we tie it all together. And last week, we, you know, we took a deeper dive just in having Tom Kelso there and the Orioles money being in the news and the Ravens plans being in the news and like just the lottery funds, a lot of things, uh, you know, and and it's getting bigger because of sports wagering and all the things we've talked about. I mean, obviously, this time of year, bowls, playoff games, excitement, all of that stuff that's happening. Um, we encourage everyone, please do this stuff responsibly. I always say that. We always uh, put that out there. But I know you got winners, right? And I, I saw – and it's a holiday week, John. It's New Year's. By the way, I in the old days, I had a, like a little, uh, little kazoo I would play. I was going to play the guy – so I was going to do a little old uh, Lang Syne there for your 50th anniversary. Oh, that's what that was. I, th I thought maybe you had a bad burrito for the, breakfast. I couldn't no, tell what I did that not. was. I had a delicious burrito last night. The peppermint payouts, I saw on the list that there was a $30,000 winner. And this happened not at the Wise Markets, but at the Giant Markets. They're nice people, too. Uh, Harford Road in Parkville. And I saw this a $30,000 prize. And I think to myself – I, I've had two people in the time we've been together admit winning $100 in front of me with a scratch off. And I say to you all the time, because last week it was a fun week. I got to play Santa Claus and give you sauerkraut and kielbasa at Wise Market. But anytime I give these out, people are always really happy to just have one. And I keep thinking to myself, did I give away the $30,000 winner or could I? And I know I could, but I see people win 100 bucks, but 30000 I forget how much power I have when I hand somebody one of these and say, hey, good luck from the Maryland Lottery in Baltimore Positive. But literally a $30,000 prize this week right here in Parkville. That's that's the beauty of, of the lottery. That's the that's the appeal. That's the draw of, of lottery. Right. That those the opportunities to dream about what if and what could. And you know what? I, uh, let's put it out there. Let's put it there, out there for 2024. I, I, I can see it now at some point in 2024. You are going to hand someone a ticket and there will be far greater than hundred dollar prize winner. I'm going on record right now as saying that is going to happen sometime, somewhere in the next 12 months. Well, I mean, you're saying it's possible and I know it's, but listen, people come up to me after they win and they're happy to get five bucks, 10 bucks, two bucks, whatever it is. They like playing and they like, and a, and a lot of times like figuring out the game or I just say, look at the app. And they're like, oh, we play the lottery. I'm in Costas or some of these places and there's a machine. People are playing, they're playing racetracks or playing games. We always have fun with it. Uh, we try to keep it light and fun for everybody. All right. So we got winners. I know it's light and fun until Doug calls and says, you won 50 grand. <laughs> hey, how, how about being on the other end of this call Christmas day, right? People, you know, sometimes the, the presents have been wrapped and, and, and paper strewn all over the floor and you just got to get out of the house for a little bit. So some lucky person went to their, um, uh, lottery retailer of choice out in uh, Windsor mill and bought a multi-match ticket. Multi-match is a game here in Maryland that's drawn on Mondays and Thursday evenings. Jackpot starts at $500,000 in increments as it goes, unless it's hit. Well, Christmas Eve, I'm sorry, Christmas Day, it was hit for $540,000. A multi-match winner who's not come forward yet. They have 182 days to claim. They're probably still basking in a little bit of that uh, eggnog uh, bath that they've taken since since they've won that was the 11th multi-match winner in 2023 that um that sw swings a pendulum the other way we normally have about five six winners a year so to almost double that up and have 11 winners in 2023 the multi-match players were extremely lucky this year it's a lot of money <laughs> you know I, as i think about it that's just a lot of money to, to uh, christmas day you find this out and to, to your point they don't come forward right away. You hope they know they've won. Let's start with that, right? So you play the game, make sure you're checking your tickets, make sure you know you won. But then you realize, like, I'll use a little Fred G. Sanford here for the holidays. This is the big one, you, you know, that you hit, right? Um, and they, they they call you. They come to you. They, they – they step forward, but they can't go to over the Y's or over to Costas and cash this ticket. They need to find you. They, they need to come and find us and I need to come and, and write them one of those big checks and uh, and smile and, and and take a picture and 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 really see the, how how their their life is going to change, hopefully for the better. Uh, and uh, and they, they get the proper counseling and, and support they need to to make those those decisions. You know, we had another one you're going to like, hopefully a Rockville woman 
who um, over the last week or so uh, went to her local retailer and uh, actually she bought it at Maryland Live Casino, which happens a lot. You know, people don't realize you can actually buy lottery tickets at the casinos. They are lottery retailers. And this young lady bought a uh, pick five ticket. And are you familiar with pick five? You pick numbers, you know, five digits, whatever. And people have lucky numbers. Their, their home address, their birthday is something that they pick. So this woman was being nagged by her husband to get her car fixed. And she kept putting it off, putting it off. And she finally had a um, order from the car dealer. And there was a, a serial number, right? On the order, you get numbers. And so she played the five-digit number on the repair order from her car. Don't get ahead of me. Bam, five-digit number comes up. She wins $50,000. Tells her husband, quit nagging me. Here's 50 grand. And of course, the kicker on the story, she still hasn't gotten the car fixed. Well, for me, I, I, I want to know the five digits now. I want to know what the lucky number – because when you say five digits to me, I'm thinking zip code. Zip codes are yep. five. You know, So if I'm trying to play five – of something i'm thinking mm, what else could be you know what else could be five digits but um yeah it's a lucky numbers man i i've always told you i won on 936 and took those springsteen tickets and i'm still telling the tickets the, the, the ticket story of the tunnel of love tour 35 years later john martin is here he is the executive director of all things maryland lottery and gaming and sports wagering and all that and anything on the horizon that i need to know about any is there any laws or rules or anything weird that happens january 1st that affects anything or no not this year. No, all the all the weird stuff will happen. <laughs> all the weird stuff will happen months after that. Uh, no, it's it, it typically the the New Year's uh, transition is uh, is is a seamless one. It's it's an easy one because people are are home for the holidays and enjoying family and friends. We hope and gearing up for the uh, for the new work uh, week that'll start uh, here around uh, these parts on January second. Um, but no, nothing really happens. We'll have a. Uh, a racetracks promotion that we'll start to tease in the in the stores now um that just get us into into the new year but other than that you know a lot of the things as i said the, the promotions wrap up on december 31st and we turn the page and we look forward to uh to even more exciting products and promotions over the next several months so stay tuned we'll have a lot more to tell you and you can go to mdlottery.com at any time to get updates uh if, if you can't wait for this uh wonderful conversation that nestor and i have on a weekly basis well i have not in any way rubbed in the 12 and 3 ravens and i don't even rub it in because like your team's okay right i mean let's rub it in on like cincinnati or jets fans or you know somebody else at this point but i, I do want to give one more plug to the raven thing and you don't have to answer this as the executive director because i don't know if you know the answer or not because we have to find this out because it ain't never happened before but you guys have this thing where you throw footballs and you know they run out during a tv timeout and you do a, a, a raven promotion and you give money away and do all that and i know you have them plan with the ravens it's a business partnership and all that and you plan those preseason games and you know some folks show up you plan the regular season games and it's great and you probably plan maybe a playoff game because we've had those here from time to time what happens during the AFC championship game? Is there a special Raven lottery thing where you all run out and do a special promotion you wouldn't do and give away money that you wouldn't give away because we're in the AFC championship game. We never play. So I need to know. I mean, you could take a week and think this through, but we I, haven't I, had I an need... AFC championship game here since maybe we beat the Browns in the sixties or something, or they beat us. I, think. I, I don't <laughs> Thank, Thanks for that last little swipe. The uh, uh, I don't, I don't need to take time at all because People can go right now. Well, we hope they, they listen to us first, but they can go to mdlottery.com and check out the Ravens uh, promotion uh, page. And they will find that on January 2nd, I already referenced this once, when we select our finalists for the 20 year season tickets, we will also pick four winners for potentially two postseason games. Well, what happens to... if we don't make it then? Well, we'll give you some lovely parting gifts. Okay, fair know. enough. I don't get the, but somebody I, will be picked out. To somebody be will be picked the out. AFC, so they'll have that hanging on the first playoff game, right? They, so on January second, we will pick four names potential for two games in Baltimore, and it will be the pass for cash promotion that people have come to see and know and love all year long. So we are ready to go. I knew all they need be. to do is show up and and kick off. Uh, a playoff game and we will have people ready for uh for pass the cash promotion and have some fun it might be a little chilly that day you know so dress accordingly but uh but yeah we'll have some fun with that i know this hasn't happened to you this week yet but you know keep trying you got flacco 
ever since Christmas night, Lamar, MVP, Ravens are the best team. We're number one in the power rankings. People are calling me, asking me for Super Bowl tickets. So, you know, I'm going to, you know, it's, it's that time. It's go time, as Brian Billick would say. It's playoff time around here. It is the most wonderful time of the year. It's kind of quiet this week. We can get some stuff done. We have New Year's. I'm not going to sing Guy Lombardo for you anymore or Dan Fogelberg or anything like that. But I hope on you behalf have a of all of our, our viewers, of, of, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. On behalf of all our one who, who may be watching, for both people watching, a hearty thank you. It's a good thing I got a sense of humor about things around here during the holidays. John Martin is here. Uh, last week it was sauerkraut and kielbasa. This week it's sour grapes and Joe Flacco. Uh, good luck to the Browns. <laughs> you know, we around here don't like the Browns, but I'm feeling some sympathizing amongst Ravens fans in regard to the Browns in a way that I've never felt that before. You know, I mean, well, I, 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 I will leave it at this because there is there is and I know, you know, in your heart of hearts, there is a slow karma buildup. Oh, I know. The inevitable is about to happen. I know Joe Flacco's coming in here to play football in two, three weeks, right? You know this, right? I, I, it, it could. I'm just saying it could happen. That would take the Browns winning a playoff game, right? It would take that. It would take us closing that gap between 99% and 100%. First off, that's All the right. first thing. Don't get don't get too far over our skis. We've we've learned that. You know what? I'm going to leave you with some positivity because it's the end of the year. All right. I'm Baltimore <laughs> positive. I'm going to I'm going to turn this into a little bit of a Drew Carey shtick for you and make it Cleveland positive. OK, so Flacco goes out there. He's at his locker. He's looking all handsome and and spry and young and confident. And they're asking him questions about Cleveland. And he said the one thing that I wouldn't have known coming in is is that it's it's better than than I thought it would be. When he got there, talking about Stefanski, talking about the system, talking about the room. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he likes the bus he's on and we like the bus we're on and Kansas City's bus is rocking and Buffalo looks like they're getting a little better. And I mean, there's I don't know who's going to win the South. This is what makes it fun. And it's sports. And we're all going to be watching this weekend and hopefully uh, uh, doing it all responsibly, beginning the year responsibly. John Martin, uh, our friend and executive director of all things Maryland Lottery and Gaming, uh, reminding you to play responsibly. And uh, um, I hope we have some winners here. I hope we get a big winner next year. And I'll see you on the other side of 2024. Happy New Year to you and your family, Nestor, and we will look forward to uh, doing this again in the new year. Thank you very much. All right. Go Ravens. Um, I don't want to say go Browns. We got issues next week and game times and all that. Just get through the Dolphins. We can all breathe easily here civically and get on to some playoff football and uh, pass for cash and all that good stuff. I am Nestor. You can find me uh, anywhere the Internet travels these days. Luke is out in Owings Mills getting ready for the Miami Dolphins. We'll have injury reports all brought to you by Coons Baltimore Ford. Um, some questions about Waddle, some questions about some starters. And if you've been listening to our on-air at AM 1570 this week, you're going to hear a whole bunch of Crab Cake Tour stuff all brought to you by the Maryland Lottery. Our friends at Window Nation, 866-90-NATION. Last year was Window windows this year it's going to be doors doors in 2024 that's what santa's bringing me and also an oil change from our friends at jiffy lube multi-care we are planning the biggest charity promotion we've ever done in 2024 uh it's going to be a radio week row week promotion and i'm putting it together and we'll have some thoughts on that as we enter 2024 as well i am nestor we are wnsd am 1570 towson baltimore we never stop talking baltimore positive happy new year everyone